anyone in this house called Anna? <laughs> the mailman's been. <laughs> and is this fabric? Yeah, but are, are they both mine? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> well, definitely one of them is fabric, but I don't think the other one is. Does it matter? <laughs> it's happy mail. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> Don't you think this is starting to wear on me? You've been raining down like hail on a week. I have tried to give you my soul, but you can't love something you want. It's too late to repair what we made. What can I do? Time flashed by and I woke up on the other side of the moon. Good day, everybody. Welcome to my channel. You got me in stitches. I'm Anna. I'm Teenage Earthling. Hope everybody's had a good week. And today, I got me a small fabric card. <coughs> Do you really call this a small fabric haul? Uh, apparently not. However, it's been kind of collected over the last, what, couple months? Six weeks or so? Well done, you. Yeah, but it was in true minds me that I do this fabric haul or not because of everything going on right now. But then because of everything going on right now, why not have a fabric haul and why not purchase a few fabrics considering that is all I ever purchase apart from the occasional thrift thing. I think that's okay, isn't it? Maybe. Uh, <laughs> well, that told me, didn't it? <laughs> anyway, with everything going on and me not feeling 100%, why not cheer myself up with a few fabrics? Isn't that right, my darling? Yes, I try my best to cheer you up. You do. You're awesome at cheering me up, aren't you? Yeah. So, my best creation ever is my beautiful son. Thank you. So... You're very talented. No. Yes. No. Yes. No, I'm yes. not. I'm just... regular. Nothing. <laughs> anyway, shall we get into the fabrics? and see what delights that I will come up with. Yeah? Awesome. Right, well, so first up I am going to start off with the beautiful fabrics which I get from Andrea, which is Pink Door, and she has a wonderful YouTube channel which is Beyond the Pink Door, and in every order you get a little card. This one is slightly different this time, and I just really love Andrea's fabric. She also has started doing every Sunday a live on her channel where she showcases all of our beautiful fabrics that she has in stock and I think that's absolutely wonderful and I really enjoy doing that. So, But everybody that I talk about with the exception of one will be linked below. Thank you Teenage Earthling. You're welcome. Techno Wiz. And the only one that's not linked is because it's my friend's story, and, and as I have said previously, that she's not online. Right, so, so we start off with the first fabric. Now, I have already used this, and this is a cable knit, and this is what I recently made my linden sweatshirt that I changed out into a cardigan. And I got one, blah, 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 got one and a half yards and this is so super soft and I even think maybe TE could actually have a cardigan or a sweater so what do you think? That's really soft isn't it? Yes I think it's quite nice. And I think that colour would actually work really well for TE. Righto, so shall we continue TE? I also purchased a pattern which you can see there, just bringing it a little bit closer. And this is a Maven pattern. 
that Andrea has in stock. So I am really looking forward to sewing this up. It is called the Barcelona and yeah have a bit of fun with that. I like the front little detail that it has there and also on the back you can have it a v-shape or just a regular back so that's really good. Then we have some really exquisite needle cord. Thank you tea. And I have been after this and every time I go order it, it just literally flies off of Andrea's shelf mega mega quick. And originally I was thinking, <laughs> yeah literally, flap and fly. I was originally going to perhaps make a little skirt or a pinafore, but also I suddenly thought maybe a shirt, just a regular button front shirt but I will see when I decide to come to make that. So this next one is a faux angora. It is really super soft and it has a lovely drape to it and it's kind of lightweight and I was thinking of maybe a cardigan of sorts but because it has that lovely drape even maybe like a waterfall cardigan so I got a couple of ideas with that one and I really like that colour as well and because I have sensitive skin luckily the Angora does not, well faux Angora doesn't irritate my skin because sometimes you don't always know with wolves and things like that if they can be a little bit itchy on the skin but this one is brilliant so yeah fantastic. These two next ones are also cable knit and just in different colourways and both I picked up one and a half yards each. So yeah, this is, hopefully it comes out relatively true to colour. I just hold it up a little bit closer. It is, there you go, a lovely lilac colour and very <laughs> soft and drapey, don't you think young man? Okay, let's see the next colourway. Equally is super soft and drapey and just in a different colourway. And yeah, so a few more cardigans I think which will <laughs> add to the already growing cardigans. <laughs> Next up we have a beautiful viscose jersey and it's named Tigress. But these guys are not tigers. They are, what are they teenage athletes? They are jaguars. And what is the difference between a jaguar and a leopard? A jaguar has spots inside its rosettes which you can see. Yay. So this fabric is lovely and drapey and I picked me up one and a half yards of this one as well. It has this beautiful design with lots of busy floral jungly theme going on and another super soft make and I have a pattern in mind for that but if I decide to make it that is when I will show you. Next up is also another beautiful fabric which is a cotton jersey and really like the colours and it is a kind of mini aqua background and it also has of course beautiful birds on there you see that one as well so yeah really like it well, I think I picked up two yards of this one so this looks really nice on you thank you it's really super soft and yeah I've got a couple ideas maybe a little tight 
top if I have enough I might even make a tunic length top tee following on from the one we have a vintage needle cord and in this really quite deep red color it's coming up a little <laughs> I can see you <laughs> it's coming up a little bit brighter it's a, a smidge darker yeah so I like the vintage floral look on that and I believe I got a yard and maybe a little skirt and it's just lovely it's really soft and I think it would work really good with a skirt but also maybe a shirt for teenage athlete what do you think I like it yeah you like that colour don't you yeah this next one is a rust colourway it is night sky and it is a double gauze <laughs> And I think it's really beautiful. It has these little sparkles on. And yeah, Dove Gauze is relatively new to my fabric collection. And it's just really super soft and I think it's so versatile. And I'm thinking of a little floaty top, maybe something that I could tie at the front or maybe an elastic around and also maybe like fluted sleeves because it has that lovely light drape to it and yeah so I'll think and decide what to make with that one but yeah really like that colorway and as we're now in way into fall season it's season appropriate and I also think not you were going with it but the rust color work with your skin tone as well so yeah not even quite way through and I definitely need a cup of tea I think this is going to be a long one isn't it teenage Ashley? yes yeah <laughs> whatever gave you that idea from all the fabric oh <laughs> delay reaction there Righto, so these lovely fabrics are from, as if by magic, La Maisie Fabrics. Thank you, my darling. Righto, wasn't just fabrics that I, thank you Sefi, wobbling the camera. It wasn't just fabrics that I purchased, I picked up a couple of other items, so what are they? Got these two pretty little buttons and this pattern. This pattern and company is very new to me and I just absolutely adore that garment and I like the way they have used that contrast fabric and there's a line art on the back. Yeah, and I think I could play around with that quite a bit. It could just be a long, it's kind of a shirt dress anyway. You could make it a shirt length, so make it a little bit longer and or shorter. Long sleeve, short sleeve. Yeah, they're so versatile to play around with this pattern. And also it has a pocket and it also has gathers across the shoulder there. It's like there's so much going on this pattern but also very classic and simple at the same time. So I like that, yeah? Awesome. What do you think, my darling? I think it's nice. <laughs> okay, also shimmering into shot now is my next fabric. Now you guys have seen this before. 
This is Life in Venice fabric. And um, yeah, it has that wonderful drape. I just picked me up one yard of that. And um, thinking of just a little floaty top, something you can wear under a cardigan. And um, you guys already know that I'd used this fabric before with making the jumpsuit. But yeah, I just wanted a small increment of fabric just to have a little top. Okay, now this one. Yeah, they're kind of all over the place. Oh, look at these guys, aren't they? Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Or oh, perfection. Yeah. Love this. And I am going to blame the wonderful Michelle from Sewing Bunny. And she has recently made this fabric up into some pajamas and they look absolutely perfect. <laughs> and yeah, so two of the little cats on here reminded her of her two cats, which were Bentley and Misty. So she got a little kitty, which is Ginger, which is Bentley. And then she has a little black cat called Misty. Now I have, as you know, a few little ginger kits myself and yeah, also a toilet shower, which is Sefi actually, causing a little bit of chaos. So that little one there. Oh, and this fabric is so super soft as well. Righto, next one. Spidey one in this lovely rust colour and it is stretch as you can see there and even if you stretch it that and away you cannot see the white too much coming through sometimes I do kind of get a little bit put off sometimes when you see fabrics like that when they stretch but again it depends if you make the garment up without it stretching over the contours of your body hopefully you can kind of get away with not to have that happen yeah so got one and a half yards these next three fabrics are from Puppy Bear Fabrics and it's the first time that I ordered from them. So let's see the first one. So this parrot and uh, it is a juicy fabric and picked up two yards of this one and really like that colorway and these beautiful parrots. Next up we have 100% cotton and has a little bit of stretch. Yeah, how is he? Is he up the correct way? Yeah, it's Harry the Sloth. And picked up one yard and just thinking of a little cute fun top. Now these guys might make me go a little bit hopping mad. But um here they are. These beautiful little bunnies in this light blue minty colourway. They are absolutely adorable, aren't they? Yes, like you. <laughs> I'm not adorable. Yes, you are. Thumping mad, maybe. <laughs> Thank you darling. You and picked up one and a half yards and again just a little cute top, something like that. Well now, these next two fabrics are from So Jessie Lee, Jessie Lee Handmade and the first one is this navy colourway with a white stripe and it's a Pony Roma fabric. I got me 1.1 1 
and it is so super soft it's not too dissimilar to what I'm wearing this is the fabric you've seen before this also was ordered from So Jessie Lee as well and perhaps just another little top short sleeve top and it's super soft so coming into winter it will be a little versatile top to snuggle in if needs be not that we really ever get cold do we no <laughs> right so this next one autumnal again 100% cotton and it is a foxy fall print see the little foxes there and this fabric I'd actually purchased before and I'd actually made a little top in it and I haven't actually I haven't as yet made a video but you know I don't you teenage earthling it was an absolute fail for such a basic top it just yeah it's like I'll do a video and I'll talk all about it but I picked up some more of the fabric and hopefully go back and look at that pattern and see if I can tweak the tweaks that I tweaked and tweaked and tweaked and tweaked and it just didn't want to didn't want to do it did it? I still think it looked nice though. I know you did so but yeah really love this fabric happy colours This next fabric is from the wonderful Laura from Material Girl Laura and unfortunately now she has stopped her online store. Mm, boo hoo, she had the most beautiful fabrics. So I managed to pick up, I think it was one half, two yards of this jungle print. So this is the little card that I received inside and this is the wonderful fabric dun, dun, dun. it is absolutely gorgeous even better when it's <laughs> the correct way around and yeah it is so super soft and yeah but all jerseys for the most part are really super soft and yeah there's a lot going on in there. Lots of monkeying around. Yeah, butterflies, macaws, giraffes, zebras, all sorts. So, yeah. Thank you, young man. You're welcome. These next three fabrics are from Claire from Beautiful Things HQ and all 100% cutter and pick me up one and a half yards of each. So let's see the first print. Have these beautiful birds, peacocks, and not too sure what particular breed that is, but also like cranes yeah I think they could be cranes and in a light duck egg color wave the background but so super soft for a cardan then sneaky into shot is really beautiful fabric here it's like lovely floral design there's a bird there there is also, I don't know what's so funny to you. <laughs> there is a stag. He's a handsome guy. Butterflies. There is a hare. Yeah, so there is quite a lot going on. Oh, and there's a little baby fawn. They're so cute. Yeah, so there's quite a lot going on in this fabric, but initially when you kind of hold it up until you get close and inspect the fabric <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. I let you get that close but yeah absolutely 
<laughs> Absolutely beautiful fabric. Okay, so the other cardan. Really bright, happy colours. Has these beautiful hummingbirds on. And yeah, lovely floral design. And yeah, I know the camera's fighting with the light a little bit there. But yeah, I think a little shirt or a, a little top of sorts, I'm thinking. But also, it's equally work as home furnishings, you know, cushions or a little bag, anything like that. But to show this fabric off, I think it definitely has to be a garment of sorts. Catch! Okay, next up is Felicity Fabrics. There's a little note that they put as their little touch in every order, and I really like that. Makes it more personal. So, why did I get it? Was it fabric or was it something else? Something I, I feel quite a lot actually. Pins! And Dun dun dun! Needles! Yeah, so in a literal sense, yes, I got pins and needles, but I also feel pins and needles quite often. But um. <laughs> and. Da, da, da. What else did I get? Did I get any fabric? I mean, after all, this is, this is technically a fabric haul. So. First up is this beautiful fabric. Now I have ordered this fabric before. I just needed to pick up half a yard because something that I am finishing didn't quite have enough. Because I think previously I just ordered one yard. Anyway, so I just needed that extra half yard, which this one is called Grey Romance or Romance Grey. It has these beautiful little birds and flowers on and again it is so super soft and yep another little jersey and who am i gonna blame for this next fabric yeah that's right michelle and we messaged each other and i think we were literally seeing the same fabric at the same time but mine has escaped from the store and has come bounding over. Yeah, I know, I know, I'm so pathetic. <laughs> Silly little sarcastic puns. Anyway, so what are these guys? Polar bears. Yay! And what else is on there? Fish. Fish. I absolutely adore this. It is in a navy colourway. And I picked up one yard of this and again it is really soft good stretch and the reverse when i can find it is white and again do that stretch there and i think that's really good there so the white doesn't come through too much so yeah another comfy little top following those we have a charcoal chambray pick me up one and a half yards I'd like to show everybody and I was thinking of making a pinafore with this one so I think that chambray fabric has a nice feel to it and soft with a little bit of structure without being overly structured and now we have something really super soft and it is a viscose fabric can you guess why i liked this fabric yeah look at these beautiful little birds and 
I've got one yard of this and it is it is so buttery super soft and a lovely drape to it so I'm thinking again maybe a little button up blouse of sorts And off camera, somebody says, So much fabric. Ah. Right, -o, so more fabrics. If you made it this far, guys, thank you so much. And these fabrics, and two things that are not fabrics, are from my friend's store. So, yeah, you cannot get them online. Right, -o. stretching on the matter is. Da -da -da, very soft elastic and I was thinking of maybe exploring the idea of making some underwear and having this elastic really super soft this elastic albeit that it's strong as well at the same time and yeah so I got four yards of this <laughs> and then she made this beautiful little pouch bag. Here's, mm, it kind of goes from my shoulder just down to my hip length. Here's a little hook there if you want to hook your keys on. And although there is a button, I'll just do this quickly because it's Velcro. Yeah, so a little Velcro closure and then inside just there it has try and get it out there is another little pocket there and yeah I just think it is really super cute and also at the front there is also a pocket so yeah a cute little purse just to put maybe a few little things in I don't really carry that much around in my pocketbook so to have something small like this is great. And now for the four fabrics that is left to show you guys. So this one is a 100% cardan, very autumnal and it has wonderful wildlife. And I'll show you that side. Oh, look at that gorgeous bear. Yeah, absolutely love this. And there's some quackers. So, well, oh, quackers anyway. So, but very cute. Yeah. So, I got me one yard of this one. <laughs> and the next one is. Wow, very vibrant. Kind of reminds that you go <laughs> that you're going on vacation, and uh, yeah, there will be stills throughout, so you guys can see this a little bit more. Kind of a semi busy print going on here, but again, it's a mid weight but very malleable kind of fabric, and I got me one and a half yards of that one as well. <laughs> this one, I picked up, I believe, two yards of this one because this one was inexpensive. And polka dots in this pastel blue and the colour is accurate there. And I was thinking of making another bouet shirt and making it in this fabric <laughs> and finally yes 100% cotton yes I know I've already said that I previously had purchased this fabric quite some time ago and I made a dress and I wanted to pick up some more it's kind of got a little bit of rigidity to it and it is this map fabric. 
like it has animals on it and also countries stroke continents and yeah so I don't know whether I'm actually going to make garments out of it or home furnishings so who knows <laughs> yeah so that is it of primarily the fabric of <laughs> Well, I know teenage actually buried under all that fabric. I cannot understand how that happened. Did you enjoy yourself? Yes. <laughs> Can you elaborate? Are most people are just going to think that you're a teenage athlete that only says one or two words? Uh, that was so much fabric, I don't. Uh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've had fun. Indeed, we have. Yeah, so let me know if you guys have picked up any of these fabrics. I know there are a couple of the fabrics that are floating around, not literally floating, but yes, they are in the sewing community and I've seen a couple of makes. So yeah, there's quite a bit there that will keep me going. And also if anyone wants to PM me saying about I have picked up quite a few fabric and the cost, Bear in mind that I had quite a bit of fabric that I was selling. So technically you could say this fabric was all free. Which is good, isn't it? Yes, very. So, and it's kind of recycling and there's no point hanging on to fabrics if you are not going to sew them up. And also bear in mind the increments, half yard, one yard, one and a half yards. That's not really that very much, is it? So, yeah. And that's that. Did you have fun tonight, Teenage Earthly? Indeed I did. I am looking forward to how lovely you're going to look in all these fabrics. Thank you, darling. You're welcome. Yeah. And we have a bunny rabbit. If you saw the chaos, I'll... Well, Teenage Earthly... <laughs> and still, I've kind of... There's a little bit of organised chaos going on down there. So, it kind of reminds you of Andrea when she's showing the fabrics on her lives and then puts them on the floor and then another one and another one and that's kind of what we have been doing. A mountain of fabric. A mountain of fabric. But they'd be lonely in the stores. And what was it that you said on the previous video and they needed... Liberating. <laughs> Liberated and rescuing. So, but anyway, they're going to be turned into hopefully lovely garments and yeah clothes that we'll look after for a long time okay let me know what you guys are sewing and or ideas plans and things like that this fabric I said earlier is from so Jessely and this is actually a linden sweater so as is and teenage athlete has his wolf shirt on I don't know if you can stand back and <laughs> show yay which I picked up a while ago when I think it was possibly at So Brum. Crikey, that was over a year ago now. So yeah, prize it off of him. It's one of his favourite teas, isn't it? Yeah. So right guys, so we are finished here. So thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed seeing the fabrics and with everything that's going on in the world. I, I hope they were a little uplifting and cheerful. So from me and Teenage Earthling and Teenage Earthling we'll see you all being well next week and take care everybody please stay safe and happy sewing. Happy sewing. <laughs>